This year's prize is about something very small that makes all the difference. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2013 Nobel Prize in Physics to Professor François Anglais at Université Libre de Bruxelles, Belgique, and Professor Peter Higgs at University of Edinburgh, United Kingdom. And the Academy's citation runs for the theoretical discovery of a mechanism that contributes to our understanding of the origin of mass of subatomic particles, and which recently was confirmed through the discovery of the predicted fundamental particle by the Atlas and Simeas experiments at, Sa at Sange Large Hydrogen Collider. Professor Gunnar Ingelmann will now give us a short summary in English, please. This is a triumph, not only for Professor Angler and Professor Higgs, but for theoretical physics more generally, and actually the whole research field of elementary particle physics. It also illustrates the scientific method, namely to formulate theories based on mathematics in attempts to understand the laws of nature and testing them against experimental measurements. In 1964, Francois Angler, together with his now deceased colleague Robert Braut, and Peter Higgs proposed independently of each other the, the theory to solve the fundamental problem of how particles acquire mass. Their theory became a cornerstone of the standard model for elementary particle physics, which describes all matter as being built of a few kinds of basic matter particles and all forces in nature as mediated by a few kinds of force particles. However, their theory required a totally new quantum field which should be manifested by a new and special kind of particle, the Higgs particle. This particle has now, at last, been observed last year by the ATLAS and CMS collaborations or experiments at the International CERN laboratory outside uh, Geneva in Switzerland.